Great, we'll get started. Um, thank you for attending today. Um, our webinar is on um, how Drupal integrations can help you grow your organization. And we're really lucky today to have Ben from Achieve Internet as our panelist. Hello, good morning. <laughs> Thanks, Ben. Next slide, please. So a little bit of housekeeping before we jump in. Um, we appreciate you joining us for this webinar. Um, if you're listening from your computer, it's best to uh, select the mic and speaker audio option and wear a headset. We will have you guys remain muted on the call, though if you have any questions, please feel free to put them into the question and answer window, um, and then we'll answer those at the end of the webinar. Um, and then please make sure to check out our post-webinar survey. Just a couple questions um, helps us kind of streamline our topics for you guys. Just a little bit about the Drupal Association. Um, our mission is to foster and to support the Drupal community so they can collaborate together as they innovate the project. There's so many ways to help with the community. We host Drupal.org and we're building a tech team to improve the site. We also provide grants for the community members to fund different events and help the community grow and further the project. One of our examples is we just did a community grant for a new camp in China. Um, or we also do multi-city road shows evangelizing Drupal. We also host our bigger event, DrupalCon. Uh, that brings thousands of people together to work on the project and bond as a community. And lastly, we uh, also have Global Training Days, which is um, a newer initiative uh, bringing some of our uh, trainers around the globe to provide either low or free uh, intro to Drupal training for their community members. <clears throat> Next slide, please. And just a little reminder about some upcoming events. Uh, we have DrupalCon Austin coming up uh, in June. We have uh, Drupal Global Training Days coming up uh, May 30th. And then our next webinar, uh, you can see our URL at the bottom. Microsoft presents Easy Drupal in the cloud using Windows Azure. And we just want to thank uh, Achieve and uh, others for being a supporting partner program member and uh, without them we can't we can't provide the services that we provide you guys so um, we really want to thank uh, Achieve and Ben for helping us with um, fostering the program and then also obviously providing us for this really valuable information and without further ado I'm going to introduce Ben, our speaker for today. He's a marketing manager at Achieve Internet. He has five years of marketing experience. Um, utilizes economic background, his economic background to increase uh, ROI for the client solutions. And look at that adorable doggy. <laughs> um, he looks just like mine, actually. So uh, Ben, whenever you're ready. Thank you very much. Uh, and. Thanks for having us today, and, and we're proud to, to sponsor and support Drupal. Um, you know, we've been community supporters since the beginning, so uh, it's sort of a no-brainer for us. Um, yeah, I, I really enjoy going uh, on hikes in Southern California with my wife and dog. Um, but so today, I'd like, you know, I'm glad to be here, and this is, you know, how Drupal integrations can grow your organization, and that being how you can tie in disparate systems uh, if you have legacy systems or if you add third-party applications, how you can tie those in with your Drupal CMS to uh, further advance and to grow, uh, to become more efficient and streamlined. <clears throat> so I'm going to sort of share some of our uh, past case studies and then some more tangible tools that you can take away from this presentation, you know, right after to help integrate uh, a little easier with your Drupal CMS. Well, you know, if that's Salesforce or Oracle or SharePoint, Marketo, you know, marketing automation tools, uh, you know, any social media tools, et cetera. Uh, so our guys at, at Achieve are all really technology solution architects. 
And so we always believe that these tools can be twice as effective by seamlessly integrating them with, with Drupal. And I really like to refer to our team members as uh, API Lucha Libres, if you will. They, they've, had, they've wrestled with countless APIs and um, integration projects, and they always come out on top. So, you know, we have a very good, solid group of uh, developers, and are, you know, I'm going to sort of share some of that experience and uh, where you can take your Drupal uh, CMS. <clears throat> So a little bit about the agenda, you know, I'm going to talk about how you can sort of get ahead, what your roadblocks may be, all the options out there um, with, when you talk about third-party applications, you know, how you can really tighten, you know, close that loop with Drupal, and then some immediate improvements so that you can take, uh, again, take away from this and, and drop that into your website right away, but then, you know, bigger problems, sort of the uh, two-way communications and uh, we'll do uh, two real-world case studies, and then we'll do some question and answer if uh, anyone has any. So really in today's, you know, digital marketplace, there are so many tools out there to really improve your organizational efficiencies, if, whether that be marketing or selling or content creation, engagement, client engagement, uh, you know, managing user profiles, et cetera. But if that tool is really not meeting ex its expectations, it could end up hindering your staff more than helping. You know, we've seen it time and time again with, I guess, closed proprietary systems. You know, technology is supposed to automate and, and help uh, enhance your efficiencies and enhance your, you know, workflows. But sometimes that can end up really slowing you down if it's not, you know, tied in together correctly with your CMS. So if you're using a third-party tool, you know, to increase your growth, and you need to ask if it's really truly helping and making you effective. It's, it's, and this presentation is really about more getting more out of those platforms by leveraging Drupal. So it's going to be focused on how Drupal can really help your growth rate. <clears throat> so I'll dive right in. So if you are in a highly competitive market, which I'm assuming most of us are, you need to really get the most out of your team. And that's where these, these third-party applications really come into play. So in the past, you know, we've seen really challenging, cumbersome, or inefficient marketing processes or publishing processes, you know, dealing with multiple content authors and editors or fulfillment and sales process. And so investing in third-party technology solutions can drastically benefit your revenue growth. But really just setting that application up and putting your staff through the trainings really usually not enough. Uh, <clears throat> so we're going to cover how an effective integration strategy using Drupal will improve your growth to help you separate yourself from the pack. So there are abundant options out there. This is just a smattering um, of great third-party tools and they're really amazing at what they do and that's one of our focuses here at Achieve is not replacing these. These are Fantastic. I mean, MailChimp, you know, HubSpot, Salesforce, they're really good at what they do, but they can, you can really enhance them um, and extend them without replacing them. And they specialize in marketing automation, email marketing, uh, database management, gamification, you know, it runs the whole gamut. They're giving you more insight into your customers your clients, your prospects, and then your opportunities than ever before, but usually there's always something missing, some aspect that it's, that it's not doing that you really wish your tool did. They offer, they're limited in their customization, so inevitably there's going to be a gap in functionality, <clears throat> and not to mention the disconnect when we add additional platforms. So you add a marketing automation tool, you add a sales force or a sales tool, or you add a, you know, <clears throat> content distribution network or, you know, your SharePoint for document management. And what happens when we add those additional platforms? You know, typically they don't speak the same language, so you end up just perpetuating the problem you know, with a whole host of disparate and disconnected systems and tools, which ends up hurting you because now your, your staff has to juggle multiple logins, different interfaces, different functionality, and the worst, siloed data. Um, so you're copying and pasting, you know, one 
contact or one lead or one um, enrollment or one user profile from one system to the next just to get that data into that system when really, again, technology is supposed to automate that. So the staff, your, your staff is manually making up for your gap in functionality, which is a waste of time. Um, and Drupal really can close the loop and help you extend your current platforms to create a tightly integrated ecosystem. Because without a proper integration strategy, you decrease the value of these applications because they're not cheap. You're paying for them, so you should get 100% out of them. But ultimately, you, you can stunt your growth as a business. You can really slow yourself down and grind yourself to a halt. So this is where Drupal comes in. It's really a complete web experience and it plays nicely with whatever other systems you, you choose to work with. Very flexible and extensible um, and it can be sort of this conduit for all your data to help connect your disparate systems. So, you know, highly extensible um, and it can be the hub sort of of your various applications and digital infrastructure. Because really, you know, these killer web experiences are built on these best of breed tools. and like I said before, Drupal is not a replacement for your applications, just a way to get more out of them. It makes it easy to add third-party tools to incre and increase their functionality by getting them to play nicely together and speak sort of the same language because you, you, know, you made the investment in this platform, so you should really demand the most out of it. So you might be asking, how does this work in practice? How can an integration with Drupal really improve my growth? I'm going to dive into that right now. So your effective technology solutions can sort of correspond with each layer of be it the customer or the user sort of decision journey. They start at the top. They become aware of your site and your service. They come down and they consider it over versus another. Maybe it's a, you know, education for enrollment or, you know, it's a, an HR system. You convert and then you start this loyalty loop. And they really correspond with each step in this, uh, in this journey, if you will. And when, when leveraged correctly, they can help create an ideal flow from start to finish. All these applications can really improve and speed up the time. It takes a passive audience member to work their way down this funnel. And at every stage of the journey, these applications should complement your efforts, not, not slow you down. So Drupal offers contributed modules that can be added to your site for basic communication, but it also lends itself to highly technical solutions that can supercharge your, your efficiencies and your growth, which I'm going to dive into um, in, in a few slides. So I'm going to go over a few quick ways on how these tools can create sort of this ideal decision journey, and you can implement them right after this session sort of to make an immediate impact uh, and drive results. So you first start with awareness. How do we attract your users to your site? And um, assuming it's a Drupal CMS, this is the Drupal Association, so that's um, what I'm focused on. You gotta attract users to your site. Obviously, lowest hanging fruit right now is social media. Um, it can increase awareness. But what's simple, what's, what's great about Drupal is you can really just drop a line of code inside a content, inside the WYSIWYG editor, um, on the HTML and, and you can add a share or a tweet or a, a Pinterest button right to your site, right to your content, and that allows your users to, you know, propagate your content across their network, uh, you know, and it grows exponentially and attracts more users to your site. <clears throat> so this is, again, immediate increase in exposure. So just a simple, you know, a simple module, a simple line of code, and you have you know, your social media uh, connections. And again, this is all, what I'm focusing on right now is all one-way communication, so pushing out to the platform, pushing out to the application. I'm going to go into the sort of two-way continuous integration in, in a few slides uh, later. And then once you have them to your site, you've attracted them, your focus should be on really getting them to consider you over a, um, another vendor, another competitor, et cetera. And you really want to increase the probability that they will favor you uh, versus someone else. And so how do you do that? You set up you know, content, you set up offers, you set up web leads, and you can, with simple modules for all of these applications, all have simple modules on you know, D.O, and you add that 
and it's a, again a one-way communication. Drupal pushes all the information from that web form right into um, into this application, so you have that about the, you go into the Drupal backend, you know, copy paste or export as a CSV file from a landing page or a form, and then upload it into your into your system. Things don't get lost. There's no confusion, and again, no siloed data. Additionally, Drupal accelerates your time to market for new marketing campaigns and empowers your marketing team to add new pages, edit content, and put web forms up independent of an engineering team. You know, that's, the, again, the beauty of Drupal. Create a landing page. If you're using, you know, panels or Panoply, you can move that around. You can, you know, have configurations and edit that a little bit without having to call an IT team. You know, a marketing department can do that just, e just as easy. <clears throat> and additionally, you know, they can be automatically linked to your tools. And then once you have them, you want to convert them, you want to increase loyalty, your data and, and analytics can really help increase your conversion rates of potential customers um, or, you know, potential users. Well, who's using the, or what pages they're on, you know, Google Analytics can easily be implemented on your site. Just wet, add your web property ID to the admin configuration screen. Um, and then once you have a new customer, their user account and information can automatically be sent to your ERP or your sales fulfillment system, and then you can start engaging them with um, gamification. You know, Jan Rain's a tool we use a lot uh, that's for personalized content based on their user profile, and that can help you really increase repeat business and brand advocacy. <clears throat> so like I said, these are really all automated steps, so you're not doing any extra work um, from the back end as a, as a site admin or the marketing team or the HR team. Drupal can really feed the necessary information to these platforms, uh, but these are all one-way communications. <coughs> Drupal can really help you improve your internal operations and processes, um, but it, it's great because it offers simplicity at, I guess, both ends of the spectrum. So if an easy problem, I just ran through a few quick fixes, modules, drop in some, you know, simple code there, and that'll give you a quick win. But for large complex issues, for say an enterprise class organization or website, uh, Drupal again is very extensible and can do a lot more than just be a front end CMS. My team is doing probably 75% of our projects are heavy, heavy integration work and where Drupal is, is being used less as a, as a website, as a CMS, and more as sort of this hub for your data and your disparate sources. And more technical problems like that usually require, that require anything more than a one-way communication. They typically seek out teams. Um, you can go to the D.0 marketplace and there's, you know, tons and tons of vendors out there uh, just like Achieve. So I'm going to go over now. Uh, two real-world case studies on how we help enterprise clients with really large-scale technical solutions. <clears throat> so one of our, our larger clients is Adminstar Communications, and they operate and manage worldwide trade shows and conferences, as well as show-specific advertising and publications. So they put out two of the, the two largest fashion trade shows in North America, which is Magic Market Week. It's in Las Vegas. Every year has 85,000 attendees from more than 80 countries. So they manage and operate booth space for 134 different trade shows. Um, and they, so they need to basically sell that space to their clients and their vendors that want to, uh, you know, come and present at these trade shows. <clears throat> and they had... When they came to us, they had a paper-only order and fulfillment process that was really grinding their operations to a halt. So when I say paper-only, I mean that when you wanted to order booth space, as you, if you were a customer of theirs, you had to fill out an order form and mail or fax it to their sales and account team. And then they manually input that data into Salesforce. So they were really looking for a way to extend. They had a, a huge Salesforce side uh, for their sales team but they didn't have any way to get that information to the user. And we see this all the time. You know, Salesforce is too inflexible. No one really wants to look at that 
you know, UI on the internal side, you don't really want to present that to the client um, because it's not very intuitive. It's not very, it's not pretty, if you will. So manual sales process is really inefficient. Things are getting lost in the mail, obviously. Um, may, you know, double redundant workflows. And additionally, there was a lot of miscommunications. So there were errors um, on the final orders due to sort of this paper process. They were really, there was a lot of hand notes written all over the order process and chicken scratch. And so when people were entering it into Salesforce, there was, again, they were, you know, either duplicating or, or missing something. Um, so the times cause big issues because just think about going to one of the largest fashion trade shows in the world um, and someone's got their booth wrong and there's different vendors already set up and you have to change and move things around. You have to, you know, it's a whole big headache and they finally, you know, threw their hands up in the air and said, all right, we need a solution. And that's why they, they came to us for a digital, a digital solution. They were, Eventually, they were thinking about using Salesforce in isolation. Um, the complex booth registration process made it less effective uh, due to their platform integration, which caused this cumbersome workflow. So they huge overhead from Salesforce licensing fees. Um, they were looking at around 750K alone just on the licensing. And it, Salesforce didn't know if it was going to get them what they needed. It was probably going to get them 80% of the way there. Um, and that didn't include any customization. So very big problem there. Uh, but then we said, well, instead of using Salesforce in isolation, let's utilize the flexibility of Drupal. Let's achieve a, sort of this streamlined platform that was far more cost effective than the standalone Salesforce route. So we digitized the sales process, uh, but we kept Salesforce on their, on their sales side so the sales team didn't have to re use or relearn a new system, but what we presented to the client was a multi-step shopping cart where you can select your booth space. Um, this image is a little small, but you know, you can select what size, you can select, you know, what layout you want for your space. Um, and then it's a, so it's a multi-step shopping cart, but what's great is that information is, uh, continuously synchronized with Salesforce and tied into the workflow of the uh, of Avinstar's sales team. So a user comes to the site, sets up an account, they become a lead, and a sales team is notified. A user starts shopping and they select a package, they become an opportunity. Sales team then contacts them or pushes info back saying, yes, this booth is available. And there's a communication there that's all digital so the sales team doesn't have to go into the Drupal backend, um, again, download sort of the CSV file and upload it to Salesforce. It's just all done, uh, you know, synchronized, synchronized. So, <clears throat> and additionally, this was a great UX for the customer. Um, so we really turned this into this, you know, slick customer shopping cart. Um, so what was interesting, the client said to us that, um, their customers actually ended up upselling themselves because they had a lot more options available to them at their fingertips. So they had a, a, a large increase in sales just due to that because the salespeople in the paper only days were only selling what they knew. Whereas the customer here, they were just upselling themselves because you know, they could add new lighting options, new carpeting, new, you know, cool new features. Um, and they also had more control over billing, uh, so there were no uniform discounts. It turned out that everyone was getting a discount. So again, this helped the, the managers have further insight into the process and the automation drastically improved efficiencies. So that was one tool where we, where we, were, we were able to really get more from Salesforce by, by leveraging Drupal. And then another one of our clients is uh, Dexcom. They are a medical device manufacturer and they, they have continuous glucose monitoring devices, so for diabetes uh, patients. <clears throat> and they're a really, really awesome company. They operate obviously in the sort of biotech industry and they had an even more cumbersome order process 
sort of in part due to their tight industry regulations. They, they're dealing with uh, sensitive patient information, so they're dealing under HIPAA regulations. Um, and additionally, they were dependent on their Oracle legacy system. So the Oracle system was not flexible enough to give them what they really needed, which was a secure e-commerce solution to expedite patient reorder process. Um, so inefficient sales process, this one would be the definition. Uh, before we implemented the solution, it was extremely outdo outdated, slow, and efficient. They used the mail and phone communications um, because they were dealing with this sensitive information, the sensitive patient information, and the Dexcom IT team just didn't know how to get this information out to the to the customers without violating, you know, these HIPAA regulations. <clears throat> so customers then uh, had to find Dexcom themselves, call a service rep, and then the service rep would send them a patient order form. That takes about two to three days to get to the customer. Then one to two days for the customer to fill it out, send it back, and then Dexcom would take it and send that to their corresponding insurance provider to look up the price. So based on your insurance, your level of insurance and, and your um, insurance provider, you pay, a different, uh, you pay a different amount for your device. So, so then they would get that information, send the order form back to the patient or the, the customer, and it would say, you know, your device is going to cost this much. How many do you want? So the customers make the final purchasing decision. The order is fulfilled and sent to the customer. We're talking about two weeks here. And in some cases, you know, these are diabetes monitoring devices, so they can be, in, in certain cases, critical and life-saving. And that's too long. It was taking two weeks. Additionally, with all the moving parts, you know, there was inefficiencies, lost orders, missed orders, and, and huge issues on the sales side uh, and the managing side. So they really needed a way to speed the sales process up and make it more efficient and increase the user experience because this is, as a customer, this is a terrible user experience. <clears throat> so we built them, so we helped extend, we really helped extend their Oracle system because again, it was too inflexible um, and they were considering getting a new ERP, which would have been millions in IT disruption, and they had no idea if that new ERP system was going to get them what they needed. So we really were able to pull data out of Oracle through web services um, and leave all that stuff locked behind the, their HIPAA environment and surface it on a uh, Drupal Commerce uh, responsive site. Uh, so it's a very quick, efficient, uh, very great looking reorder process. So our, our architects looked at it and said, well, why can't the order process be like Amazon? You know, they, they had the, the security in the back of their mind, but they said, okay, let's make it secure, but let's make it like Amazon. Um, so they built this great store that you log in as a user. So it's all behind the fire, it's all behind a firewall all um, you know, uh, SSL secured. So you log in as a user, and as you create your user profile, it looks up it it looks up your insurance in the Dexcom Oracle database, which is where all the patient information is stored, and then surfaces all your information, and you see a different price than uh, John Doe sees or then you know, someone else sees when they log in because their insurance rates are different. So when you log in, or you can't log in now unless you, are a, uh, you set up an account, but if you go to the site now, you won't see any prices on the devices. That was done because the prices, again, are different per user. So when you log in, it populates all the data with your uh, specified insurance rate, and then it will give you the price you pay for, for your device. So that increased reorders by about 300% just because it took one hour to do a reorder than it took as opposed to like three weeks. Again, you know, a new order um, was, just as, was just as streamlined. So this really, really helped um, extend their functionality of the Oracle system by using Drupal and tying, tying the two systems very tightly together and surfacing all that data 
in a very user-friendly way by you know with a Drupal Commerce site. It reduced their overall cost of sales and increased their reorders exponentially. Um, and additionally, you know, it saved a lot by not having them uh, switch a, a new uh, IT system. So as I highlighted, Drupal can really help you increase your company-wide efficiencies. It can increase your revenue and separate you from your and your company from the competition. So really the message, don't settle for 80% that your current platforms are giving you or limiting you to. Uh, you really should demand more and get the 100% that you're paying for uh, to move your initiatives forward. And you can do that with a tightly integrated solution between your platforms and your Drupal CMS. So in conclusion, when leveraged properly, Drupal can be used to bridge the gap and extend your current platforms and their functionality to help move you forward and at a fraction of the cost because of the open source, um, the beauty of open source. So there are quick fixes that I highlighted. You can implement right away, you know, but if you have more complex issues, they usually require a more advanced solution and you should seek out an expert team to help you help you meet those needs. But in the long run, this will help you get this will help you get better, increase your revenue, and ultimately get you to the uh, to the winner circle. So again, uh, thank you guys for coming. I know it was uh, pretty early for the for the West Coast folks, myself included. Um, my name again is Ben. You can reach me at my email, um, my Twitter handle at the bottom there, and then additionally, we have you know all the social media channels available. Twitter, Facebook, email us. <clears throat> and if anyone has any questions, feel free to submit them now and I'll be happy to answer them. Great. Thank you so much, Ben. That was really, that was really great. Um, it doesn't look like we have any questions, so we'll wait just a minute. Um, let's uh, just review the last couple of slides and then we can always come back to questions if people have them. Sure. Great. So again, just a reminder, uh, we have DrupalCon Austin coming up. It's a great way to network with uh, different professionals in uh, various forms of Drupal life um, and also learn, learn more about how you can be involved in the Drupal community and utilize Drupal uh, for your business and uh, growing your business. We have our Drupal Global Training Days coming up, like I said, that's a great opportunity to really build your community. Um, if you're a, uh, a professional trainer uh, for a Drupal shop or um, you want to just get together a group uh, as a meetup, it's a really wonderful way to grow the community, like I said, and um, you know, build the next generation of people that are learning Drupal and applying that. Um, and then we have also our next webinar, uh, Microsoft Presents Easy Drupal in the Cloud Using Windows Azure. And just a little bit of information on um, our membership. We have an organization membership. If your company would like to uh, become a member or we have individual memberships, these are really great for um, helping to fund our scholarships, our grants, our servers. But more importantly, um, you know, there's also benefits uh, for you as well. And you can find out more information on associationdrupal.org slash membership. So uh, it doesn't look like we have any questions, though so Ben provided us with his contact information. So if you do think of something, please feel free to either reach out to myself, Lauren, at association.drupal.org, or Ben, and um, you know we can always forward that information on and uh, answer any questions you might have. Absolutely. Um, and thank you again for, for helping us put this on. Appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, everyone, for joining. And Ben, Great presentation, very exciting. Thank you so much. No problem. All right, everyone have a great day.